in various different places, but every so often I come across tunes that you know, they've got a session tune written all over them, and then you find that you play them in session, no one's actually playing them in session. So I rooted out a few of these uh, to put together for this. And then we're going to play um, a tune from uh, Lake District called, or rather from Cumbria, because there's not many lakes around Whitehaven. I've never been up there. It's called Whitehaven Volunteers. Um, and it sounds as though it's been made up of, uh, if you imagine if you went around the floor after a pub session and swept up all the bits of tunes that have been left lying around and strung them together, you'd probably end up with this tune. Are we all here? Yeah, but I haven't got a box. Oh, no, I've got any. I thought he was home. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll get mine and you get yours and we'll be able to. Sorry. There we are. So, uh, is it a couple of times through? I think it's done. Uh, so, uh, a couple of times round, is that going to be enough? Yeah, it's already set up. I'll just count it. One, two, off, go. We did about four or five um, Saturday school for Constina players. We're not running them at the moment because we haven't got that many people. So if anybody um, within striking distance of this area uh, would be interested in some Saturday tuition on the Anglo concertina, that would be definitely Anglo, then do leave your name and your interest on the desk. And once we get enough people interested again, we'll run another series. I know Roger's keen to do it and one or two other people are keen to come back. We're still sort of locating and regulating ourselves. Um, what we'll do is a couple of, um, no, one tune, just one tune. Just do Rory. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's from uh, a, a set of uh, fiddlers, Swedish fiddlers manuscripts from uh, 19th century Bamford in the Bush. Um, a tune called Rory O'More, which turns up with harmony parts uh, in this, this fiddler's book. Uh, two treble parts. I've put a bass into it. and. Uh, um, it's an example of uh, very characteristically the kind of thing that uh, these Eng English blues bands uh, used to do right through 19th century and certainly well into the 20th century as well. Like, characteristically, we have the tune going, 
then you'd have a harmony line going along with the tune that did the same sort of thing as the tune, and then a bass uh, part played on a uh, cello or a brass instrument, trombone, uh, bassoon, something like that, uh, both supporting the harmony and providing um, a bit of rhythm as well. Now, I've brought along my friend Brutus, which, because the bass accordion, of course, it has no basses. You get the idea. Uh, which I'll put on and attempt to play. The uh, right hand looks like.